Hello there guys, what's good? Welcome back to the World Cup Guide in FIFA 18, kindly sponsored by OneFootball. We're back again, and if you still don't know what this is all about, we have eight YouTubers taking part, and we've been assigned a specific group that we've got to produce videos on leading up to the World Cup. We're bringing the vibes to YouTube. So if you want to check the link in the description to the playlist, it's already been updated, but after the end of this video, I'll link you over to uh, somebody else, and we're going to go from there. So last week we covered Denmark, we had Ericsson carrying the side, who's going to be carrying it for Australia today? So if you do like the sound of it, make sure to drop a like, check out the OneFootball app as well, link in the description, download it, and thank you so much to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. Let's head into it. So recently we've seen a couple of Australian players turning into hot prospects, which is fantastic for the national side and just fans of the nation. Uh, first player, Matthew Ryan, absolute beast of a keeper. You've got Aaron Moy, the 84 rated inform card. Some would say it is just a worse version of a John Joe Shelby. That's not true. Aaron Moy is class, and the way he picks up the ball, he's able to find space, the range of passing, the intricate play. He is underrated. And I like the look of him. I don't I don't know if I would say he's going to be carrying the Australian side, but he will most definitely have an impact and have an influence with the way they're picking up results, if they pick up results. Uh, so hopefully he does have a good World Cup. And he is the dictator, the playmaker. And I believe that they're going to rock something like this, a 4 2 3 one, having Moy as that um, deep line playmaker alongside Jedinak. This guy, if I remember rightly, he scored a hat-trick in the playoffs to actually secure Australia a place in the World Cup. So fair play, a hat-trick for Jedinak. What an absolute machine. And then leading the line, I don't believe that Cahill will actually start. And it could be the last World Cup for Tim Cahill. What a legend. He has scored some bangers in his time. But the one, I believe it was the last World Cup, over the top. Uh, they were playing against Netherlands and he took it on the volley left footed weak foot Let me just add pinged off the bar un underneath the bar and went in What a strike from Tim Cahill and it was just really fun to be using him in a team like this on FIFA So I'll let you know uh, what I actually changed up and how I approach the games because you can't just play that fast attacking style with silvers and non-rare gold. So I'll let you know a few secrets that I use. But with Cahill, uh, let's take a look at this card. 17,000 coins, 10 games, nine goals, and three assists. How the hell has he scored nine goals? And of course, his heading accuracy, 99. His jumping, 99. Aggression, 96. And his finishing stats aren't really looking too special. Uh, with Aaron Moy, I... I'm a fan of Aaron Moy. He didn't score any goals in the system that I played, uh, but when I have used him as an actual centre mid in a 4-3-1-2, he can score quite a lot. His finishing is OP, and I would 100% recommend at least giving this guy a try if you've got a Premier League team or you're looking just to save some coins. Uh, in the... Well, uh, on the sub bench, we have uh, Juric, and I believe that this guy is going to be the one to start for Australia. And then we have maybe Tim Cahill coming off the bench just to uh, get the crowd popping, you know, uh, bring in those good vibes and maybe helping the team encourage them uh, to get those results. But where are you seeing Australia finish? I think it's too easy pre uh, to predict this group because just off the top of my head, I'm going France. Denmark, Australia, Peru in that order, but you can't really us, uh, underestimate Peru. You just never know and that's why the World Cup is just a fantastic event uh, But if you are a fan of Australia, let me know how they're gonna do Would you set them up like this any players that I've missed? Please do drop it in the comment section, but we've got to go and find out how they played Which players stepped up to carry this Australian team? Let's hit the pitch. So the first couple of games I played with this team, I was taking that same approach, uh, just like I would with my mega side. Trying to get those individual players to turn up, carry the side, using skills to drop past players and just beat past opponents. And it just doesn't work like that because there isn't really an individual player to take control. So everything's stripped back and you have to really play football. You've got to work the chances and it's difficult and that just opened up my eyes to the fact that when I am using my mega teams and stuff I've fallen fallen into a bad habit 
And because those players are just that good, I don't have to be playing at that top tier level. Whereas with this team, if I play bad, I'm going to get absolutely smashed and demolished. So it just really helped me uh, find out what I was doing with my mega side. And of course, when I go back to that and I have those individual players that just can create moments of magic, yes, that is a bonus of having a fantastic card. But what I was doing with this team was really working the play, playing it back, playing it over to the wings. And weirdly enough, I actually had a lot of enjoyment uh, using a team like this just because it was different. It was something fresh and I was playing actual football instead of like trying to go on skill runs and just do just do stuff that i find enjoyable but it's not really the way that you should be playing this game you should be trying to pass it around and switch the play frustrate your opponents and it really did work so which players stepped up for australia it was all about tim cahill now i thought that Aaron Moy was going to be able to like overlap and get some goals and he was in good positions but I was just trying to play it simple I didn't want to just focus on one guy because it was hard enough as it is so I was just working the play with everyone there wasn't really a standout player they worked as a team they stepped up and then Tim Cahill was the man just to put the balls in the back of the net it wasn't necessarily the fact that uh, Cahill was better than the rest it was just they worked together, they hit it up top to the striker, and Cahill finished it. But some of the goals, actually, that I scored with here, like, what are these? Um, took it around an opponent, I wasn't even looking at the goal, smacked it, went top bins. Another one, the power, the sheer power from this Cahill card for a 78-rated inform. He has some ridiculous finishing. So I've got to give it that. Uh, I've got to give it to him. He has a yeah, good ability on the ball. Well, good enough. Not fantastic, but he can turn. His pace would it, would have been nice if it was a little bit better. But it was all about that finish. A vicious, ferocious shot. And it was just flying uh, top, of the, top of the net. Uh, top bins all the time. So I would say, yeah, Cahill was fantastic. There was one goal from Rogic. And I'm going to be taking this into my main game just by using a team like this and messing around i've now discovered kind of an overpowered skill to use around the edge of the box and i don't think i've seen anyone do it this year it's pointless around the midfield because it's not going to do anything but on the edge of the box um, the way I pulled this off was to flick the stick twice in the direction that I was going and then they chip the ball up I think you have to have someone with four star skills. So they basically chip it over uh, Someone's a tackle or a slide tackle and if timed correctly you get a nice boost of acceleration and you saw the opening I got that boost it went over the tackle because your opponent is going to go in with a stand challenge and if you time it right it's just going to go over the top and you're basically guaranteed a chance so i'm going to try and implement that into my main game and see what i can do with it so i'll test it out later tonight possibly it was just a lucky goal but it still looks sick and i want to try and uh, test it out and learn it a little bit more so that is going to be it from me uh, one thing i do want to say before i let you guys go there's going to be a link in the description to the playlist and it is this uh, Visa to be doing the next video so go and check out his channel you can click the playlist and it will all be there for you and i will be back next week to cover either peru or france which one should i do next let me know in the comments thank you ever so much for watching drop a like and i will see you on the next one see you now peace